All right, I'm just doing a quick demo of a command line countdown application called Turndown. Now, here's the GitHub page. It's a Python program. It's been in production for about 10 years, and it's been updated at least two years ago. Um, a quick little demo of what it looks like. And command line options and installing it is as simple as using your Python installation package called pip um, and just pip install term down, which I won't really go into because that's pretty simple. I'm going to switch over to the terminal. Come up. All right, so that was actually turned down. You saw on the top window there. Bigger. I'm going to run turn down in the upper terminal and just have the turn down help in the lower. Terminal. Uh, Termdown does not install any man pages or info pages, so the only way to get help for the like 10 command line flags is just with termdown dash dash help. So basically, it's just turn down and give it a time you want to count down. So there's turn down 10. It counts down for 10 seconds. But it's only done five. You'll see that the last few, by default, it's uh, three seconds, will turn to a red color. That's uh, Kevin's favorite red on black. <laughs> yeah. It's not Windows, though. It's OK. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you want to do uh, something longer than just seconds, um, like one hour or five minutes, like in the demo there, don't forget to put it in quotes. So what you're seeing it's not really working. It'll automatically determine if your terminal is not large enough to display bigger fonts. So it'll just default to the standard um, terminal font. But if you make your terminal small enough, there you go. <clears throat> so that's doing it for hours, minutes, seconds. You can set it for um, so many minutes or hours. I think this is... This is minutes and seconds. Not. No, nope, that's setting it. Uh, setting it to uh, have a countdown till 12 o'clock, which it can't do because we're already past 12 o'clock. So let's do something like 2200. There you go. Smaller again. So one hour, 15 minutes till 2200. And the time zones, oh, okay, we'll do the dates. And you can set it for getting a countdown till tomorrow. I think it's the fifth, right? So that's in three hours, 15 minutes. And you can go more than one day. It's good. Big. That's one day, three hours. The only thing I haven't quite figured out is how to do proper time zones. So it says in the examples that you could do um, April 5th, let's say at uh, midnight. It's already past midnight there. Is it 2 in the morning there? UTC? Yeah, it's in 14 minutes. So it understands UTC. It understands your current time zone. But how do I get it to tell me when is 2 o'clock in, let's say, Mountain Standard Time? Try America slash Calgary? <clears throat> America slash Edmonton? Like uh, in text? Yeah. Upper lowercase like this? Uh, yeah. yeah. It's obviously sending that to some sort of time parser thing. Mm -hmm. 
Destroy Winnipeg. Destroy Winnipeg? What? America slash Winnipeg. See if we recognize it. It's a common one. So, um, I haven't done much with time zones. <clears throat> Maybe UTC minus five or something? <laughs> UTC minus six. Maybe seven. Or, or some time zone like that. The standard would be the time and then the T and then. Is that the right sun? minus six? Like that? Oh, sure. sure. Who knows what syntax they want? Uh, ooh. Ooh. Maybe we did hit some. Yeah, let's go for the day ahead. But if you understand the minus of the UTC, you can just figure out your next time zone easier than Whoa. that. I'm going to move on. But if you know your zone. Then. <laughs> uh, okay, so if the time is not given, it works as a stopwatch. So if you just do turn down, it's just going to start counting up. And uh, while it's running, there are hotkeys. Is there a turn up? No. I guess you could always <laughs> alias. <laughs> um, the E is not going to work when we're in stopwatch mode. I'll show it when we go to the next countdown. Um, so if you hit an L, it gives you a lap time. It just records it. Mm -hmm. Space is going to pause if you want to pause for some reason. Uh, plus will add 10 seconds. You can also, this also works in the countdown. Uh, minus subtracts 10 seconds. And then hit the Q to quit, and then it's going to give your summary of your laps, your averages, and your total. Hmm. So a quick little stopwatch right on the command line. Oh, I guess I can show the E. There's a dash E switch for it as well. Uh, let's make something longer. 30 seconds, if I hit E, it's showing you this is when 30 seconds is going to expire. All right, so if you want to see a different format, dash A is going to give us the whole information as opposed to just the shortened version. So then you've got your full hours, minutes, second, all the time display. Uh, blink. I won't do for 30, let's do something shorter like five. So after it does the countdown, and again, there's the critical digits. What is that going to show up on the BBB? Kind of. Very out of sync. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, it flashes your terminal to get your attention when it finally ends. And then you hit Q to, to quit that, or Control C, or whatever. Epilepsy. Mm -hmm. like uh, that goes along with a capital B, which is meaningless oh. in my SSH session because I don't have audio sent over SSH. Uh, normally it'll be, it'll ding on the terminal when it ends. So you do the capital B and then it won't ding. Won't a bell work over SSH? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not audio, it's, it's, a, it's an ASCII character. Yeah. If you're... I haven't got this one working. Ever. You can set it up on mobile stream, like configure it to actually make a sound. Yeah, it'd be an option on the... On the yeah, mobile stream. Um, not important. Not important, we'll move on. <laughs> Uh, dash C is how you change the default the characters you want to be in red. So if I do dash C5, and not, no, no, 20 is too much. So we'll do a 10 second countdown, and now it'll go red at 5. And that's kind of important. You can see here in the, um, the criticals can actually be automatically sent to um, eSpeak, I think it was. Oh, yeah. Or say on the Mac. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have that installed, those last seconds that are critical will be announced. And you'll give you a countdown like 10, 9, 8, etc. My favorite's festival. I go through the festival. Uh, there's a dash E, same as typing E at the when it's running to it display the target date. Uh, fonts are interesting. So you can basically, it's using Figlet to display the text. So you can use any of the about 150 different fonts that Figlet has in its package. Um, so let's see if I get some interesting ones here. 
ダメです。So this will be the dough font. Oh, again, it's going to have to be a little smaller. There you go. So that's what dough font looks like. Much nicer. <laughs> uh, how about Star Wars? Sorry about the small terminal here. That's what Star Wars looks like. Move that up a bit more. And uh, this is another industry one. I mean, I said there's like 150 to choose from. Throw them all. <laughs> no! <laughs> Show us your fonts. <laughs> oh, what is that one called? SM keyboard. Oh, yeah, small keyboard. <laughs> oh, that's cute. There's lots of interesting fonts you can play around with. Keyboard. Um, like a keycap spawn. Uh, uh, so voice prefix, again, if you have those speaks um, packages installed, you can have it uh, announce stuff at the beginning or at the end. Uh, quit after, I used to do that sometimes. So when you get to the dash link, or even if you have uh, announcements or something, um, you may want to have it quit. So uh, I quit after the three seconds, blinking, and do a five second time. So normally blinking would, when you get to zero, the terminal will just blink forever. So you can limit it to just um, blink for three seconds, and then it'll just quit. So you can also use that for your, um, your speaks, I think. No seconds, pretty easy. Text is useful. So if we want to put some text, this will be at the end. So uh, we're going to say done. And let's give it a three second countdown. So let's make some quick. Once it's done, it'll display your text. And the capital T is also useful. Capital T, a demo. Oh, I don't need that capital G. To make this smaller. It's probably getting too small now. <laughs> way too small. Oh, way too small. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <Stop Whoa. on. laughs> I'm pushing mobile X term to its limits. Come on back. What have I done? <laughs> Is it crashed? This makes me think of that Pac Man movie. <laughs> yeah, what, 10, characters at once now. If I could come back here. Yeah, so let's get this caught up again. Not too big. <laughs> Are you like holding it down so it, the keyboard repeats? I was using the scroll mouse. Oh, don't do <laughs> <laughs> And I shouldn't be looking up there when I'm using the scroll mouse because <laughs> that's majorly delayed. I will use the keyboard now. I'll just make the time longer so I get more time to play with it. Okay, so again, enough. Oh, I think I need more height. Come on, come on, come on. Once it has enough height to display. There it goes! So there's where it threw text at the top. Yeah, definitely have to have more Just vertical height. <laughs> and the only other thing that's interesting is. Can, can you do years? Uh, like countdowns yeah. every years? If you use the date format here, that'd be for the end. Maybe not. When it's actually displaying the time. What's the maximum number of hours can you do that? It says days, so. 
Yeah, it, it wouldn't could show be years. Five. No, it might not show years. Well, why don't I do a countdown? Yeah, just do it like to five something years. like three years away. <clears throat> that one there. There. Part number of days, maybe. Oh, it's probably just going to say a thousand days. Yeah. Nope. Um, so there's no way to get it to like change the number of say like loosely speaking significant digits. <laughs> well, yes. So, like only only display years until it's like less than one year, and then display days, and then when it's less than one day, then display hours. I think the only thing you can get rid of is the dash s to get rid of the seconds. Get rid of seconds because yeah. if you're counting down like multiple years, you don't really need the minutes for <laughs> quite a while. <laughs> but you could probably give it a custom format, like on that bottom screen there. Yeah, it would just be. I'm thinking of like a variable format. Though. Yeah, you know, because it that would be for the whole thing. On how much time is left? Not the data would want to know. Because I just want to know how many days there are until it's less than one day, and then a countdown of hours and minutes and maybe seconds. You can have it. You can have it quit early. Uh, where was that thing? One of these commands. Quit after? Yeah. Oh, you have to specify it in seconds. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so you could have, if you knew ahead of time, have it quit that command and execute another one <laughs> automatically oh, with a different format. Uh, I guess I'll have to learn Python and modify it. And get that. So yeah, it's on GitHub. <laughs> and the only other thing I sometimes use is the dash Z. I'll just turn down with dash Z. And that just gives you your clock in a terminal window. How come it's not coming? There it is. That's just the current time in a terminal window. And that's it. Any questions? Other than Kevin's. Is this in the repos yet? No. Yeah. Well, it's not in Fedora. Well, it's in pip, though. But it's in pip. So if you've already got Python installed, just do pip install. And pip is in the repos. I trust pip more than I trust. Well, yeah, depending on what you're doing, the repo copy of the Python library is so old compared to pip that it's like why? Anyway. And pip is installed automatically with the modern with, Pythons, right? Yeah. Three point yeah. something, whatever, it's automatically installed. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same. Right. Yeah. I, I kind of do have one question, though. It'll be fast. Yeah. Did, did, did you ever get eSpeak to work with this thing? Uh, no. I, all my Linux boxes are headless, except for one that I rarely use. Okay. Yeah, I installed Term down, and I installed eSpeak, and I'm using the dash dash voice eSpeak, and I can pipe stuff into eSpeak, and stuff gets spoken. But it's the, uh, the, the command doesn't seem to work, so I'm curious. Hmm. It's uh, it would be incredibly obnoxious to have uh, it count down every single, um, every second. So I, I really want that. <laughs> <laughs> Next time.